the Muhammad Ali torch lighting moment. Um, that was as moving as any Olympic opening ceremony, closing ceremony moment. And how did that come about? The, we decided in the beginning, this had to be a surprise. Mm -hmm. And I thought about this for a long time. And I, and it was, it was like playing Russian roulette in a way because Muhammad Ali no longer could speak. He had Parkinson's, his hand was shaking. And I kept thinking, what if he dropped it? Could he pick it up? Mm -hmm. If in the act of picking up the torch, would he light himself on fire? Mm. I mean, it sounds weird, no, but no. that's what you have to anticipate when you're doing these things. Sure, of course. And um, the main thing was I wanted to keep it a secret. So we had a garbage room underneath the stadium. A garbage room. Where yeah. Full of garbage and cement blocks where we met with Howard Bingham, mm -hmm. who is my, um, Ali's guy. Mm -hmm. I knew that if Howard Bingham walked into our office in Atlanta, mm -hmm. people would recognize him. There were 400 people in the office, and they'd know we're going after Ali. It had to be a surprise. And I just wanted him to come out and stand there. No music, no introduction, no fanfare, just stand there. And I was cutting the the camera feeds, mm -hmm. and I let him stand there for like 12 to 15 seconds on a wider shot because I wanted people to wonder, who is that? Sure. And they did. And they were saying, is that Ali? I want, you know, whatever. And then I took a closer shot of him, like a waist shot, mm -hmm. and the place just erupted. I mean, and I, the people were crying in the audience, yeah. and, and it became one of those memorable moments but keeping that a secret had everybody known it was going to be ali it would not have had the impact that it that it did and even bob costas and dick enberg who were narrating this commentating on it they did i, I, I said to dick ebersall we cannot tell them who this is going to be he knew dick yeah. ebersall obviously dick ebersall knew there were about four or five of us who knew and dick honored that did not tell him and Costas, when he was um, describing it, it was very, very eloquent. I mean, well, that's, that's Bob. You yeah, got, you had the that's, right moment uh, yeah, for everybody yeah. involved. So anyway, that that's how that all worked. But if surprises in my business are real important, and really. they're rare. They're rare, and they're rare, and it's hard to keep them a surprise now too. But you know, I the deal I had with Howard Bingham was because I didn't know if I could trust the Ali camp. Mm -hmm. I said, if word gets out that Ali, even if it's as late as the morning of the opening ceremonies in Atlanta, if the word gets out that Ali's going to be doing it, I have the right to change, and I'm going to put Evander Holyfield in, who is also from Georgia, Yes, you know, and let him light the torch. Because I, I, I had to play tough on it because I didn't wow. want it to leak. Wow. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah, well... That's the real deal. That's a, <laughs> you know, wow. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.